everybody. My name is Birte Hoffmann Kabenda and today I'm going to take you back to the mid 19th century to teach you the polka mazurka. The mazurka is a dance of Polish origin. You will know lots of beautiful mazurka music from Chopin and other composers, music in triple meter, and the mazurka is still danced in Poland today. In the 1820s it entered the ballroom also outside of Poland, first as a group dance, uh, in, danced in sets, in squares or, or circles. And then in the mid-19th century, around 1850, another type of mazurka dance became popular in Europe, that is the polka mazurka. Done uh, done as a couple dance, as a round dance. Couples uh, rotating around the room. In this form, as a round dance, as a couple dance, the polka mazurka or the mazurka was very popular. Uh, you can find it in the dance manuals of dancing masters from Germany, England, France, the USA, you name it. And you can find it in dance cards, all these sources right up to World War I. That it was very popular you can also see from the fact that it still survived in the folk dance traditions of many many countries from Scandinavia to Italy, Germany, Austria, uh, Holland and uh, Via the colonialism it also found its way to places far, far away. For example, you find it in the Caribbean. So, why is it called polka mazurka in this form? It is called polka mazurka because the step for it is a combination of a mazurka step and a polka step. The mazurka step is um, fairly easy compared to the many complicated fancy steps that had been used in the mazurka as a, as a set dance, as a group dance. And the polka bit is called a polka step even though it is not exactly a polka step because we're still talking about a dance in triple meter. So we're counting one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and uh, in the basic form we alternate mazurka, polka, mazurka, polka steps. You dance it in a couple and you rotate, usually in the basic form you rotate um, clockwise, that is uh, a natural turn, and you move around the ballroom anti-clockwise in the ordinary line of uh, dance. There is also the possibility to turn the other way round, I mean rotate um, anti-clockwise as a couple, then you, we've got a reverse turn. That's also possible and we, we'll come to that later. As usual with these round couple dances in the 19th century, the gentleman will start with his left, the lady will start with her right. and. Each of you will do a step sequence, one mazurka, one polka step, and with that you will have turned halfway round. And then you finish the rotation with the second set of mazurka and polka step. So one full rotation takes four bars. So now it's time to enter the ballroom. Let's have a look at the step. Um, when we do it without any embellishment and any directions, we will have our start. I'll start with the left. I would have left, right, hop, left, right, left. And then my right foot would be free, and I could uh, repeat the section, the, the the sequence. I would have right, left, hop, right, left, right. So let's do that a couple of times just to get used of the this alternating between hop and step. We will have step, step, hop, step, 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 hop, step, 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 hop, step, 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 hop, step, step, step. Perhaps we can do that with music. Just to get used. 
used to it. So let's do it with this music. One, two, three, four, five, six. Step, step, hop, step, 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 hop, step, 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 hop, step, 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 hop, step, step, step. You get the idea. So now let's give this step a little bit of direction. So we'll do it to the side. So we will have left, close, hop, left and left, right, close, hop, right and right. Let's do it faster. One, two, three, four, five, six. Left and hop, left and left, right and hop, right and right, left and hop, left and left, right and hop, right and right. And let's do that with the music. One, two, three, four, five, six. Left, up, left, right, right, left, right. Okay, so. Step is that we have to make it neater. So let's have a look. What, we, what are we going to do? The first step we can take on our toes, then we close, doing a cutting action. So we've got the light, the light, cut, and then the hop. With the hop, we take the free foot, point it behind the right. So we've got left and hop. Once more. The light cut hop. And once more. The light cut hop. Let's practice the same thing to the right side. We have light cut hop. And once again. The light cut hop. We can actually practice this step several times in the same direction. If that's not confusing, if you add the other bit later, it would be left and hop, left and hop, glide and hop. And the same to the other di direction. Let's do that one with music. Let's do it a couple of times to the left. Left foot is free. We can have it already in the third position behind the right one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Left, up, left, up, left, up, left, left, up. And do it to the other side. And our right foot is, in the, is behind the left one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, cut, hop, right, cut, hop, right, cut, hop, right, cut, hop. So now we have a first, the first, the mazaka bit of the step, now the polka bit. We had our mazaka and we again have left foot free and we begin like in the hopping mazaka thing. We glide, cut and but now we have to um, do a jeté on the other foot. So we have glide, cut, and transfer the weight. Glide, cut, and again we take the free foot at the end and have it neatly behind the other one. Second bit. One, two, three. Glide, cut, jeté. And once again. One, two, three. Glide, cut, jeté. Let's do the same thing to the right side. Glide, cut. Once more. One, two, three. Glide, cut, jeté. And once more. One, two, three. Glide, cut, jeté. Now let's put 
these two steps in a neat version together. Left, right, left, right. We start, our weight is on our right, and we slide to the left. Four, five, six. Slide, cut, hop, slide, cut, jump. Slide, cut, hop, slide, jump. Slide, jump, hop, bump, bump, bump. Slide, cut, hop, jump, bump, bump. This a basic step is described more or less the same in various sources throughout the second half of the 19th century. Uh, German sources, American sources, English sources. They only differ in, in, one, um, in one aspect. Some describe it as a sideways action. Some describe it as a forward action. Forward. But if you start to dance it with a partner and you start turning, you will find out that you'll do something which is a bit diagonal. So you may perceive it as sideways or you may perceive it as forward. I think that's um, how this different difference came about. So, how do we turn it? How do we do it with our partner? Let's first explain how we turn it. If we turn clockwise, which is the most usually done thing, then you have the first mazurka step, and then with the polka thing, you will go to the other side of your partner and end up with a half turn. And then you will do another mazurka step in the line of dance. And then with the second one, your partner will move around you and you have to do the step sequence for the polka bit. Very small and more or less on the spot to allow the other person to go around you. And you alternate with everything. So stepwise, it's the same for ladies and gentlemen. You just start from a different position with a different foot, but then the sequence is the same. So how do we do it with a partner? So let me introduce my partner, Roy. <laughs> And first, let's see, we are in a room, and if we're in a, in a hall, to, um, about to dance around the hall, we will have the anti-clockwise line of dance going around the room. So this is, if we stand here, this is the first direction we move into. The gentleman is facing out, and the lady is facing in towards the room. Now we need a, a ballroom hold, a mid-19th century ballroom hold. We, we're not very close because imagine there is a lot of crinoline around me which doesn't allow a modern ballroom hold um, and it wouldn't be appropriate anyway. So the gentleman takes his um, right hand and doesn't put it on the shoulder blade uh, like in a modern ballroom hold, but into the waist. Here is the corset, and here starts the crinoline, and just above the crinoline. And I take my free hand, put it on his shoulder, and the other one hands are joined in a nice circle, a half semicircle, this way. So slightly bent at the elbow, and a nice round calf here. So, if we now going to dance it, we first have the mazurka step going in the line of dance. We look into the direction we will be going and my, uh, the lady will start with her right foot, the gentleman will start with the left foot with the first mazurka step. And as I mentioned, it will turn out to be a little bit diagonal because we, we are told to look into the direction we're going. So let's just do the first mazurka step. 
four, five, six, one, cut, hop. So now the, for the second bit, the gentleman will pass in front of the lady, so we turn halfway around to the right. Um, the gentleman has to take larger steps and the lady smaller ones, so he can pass around. So do that, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we look into the, li into the line of direction. So this time our lovely curve goes a bit up because we're told not to dance with a straight upper body but to lean into the direction we are dancing. So when we're here, the, the lady with the left, which had just been raised behind the right one and the gentleman has his left it stands on his left foot, the right one is behind the left, yeah, is raised behind the left one, and we take him as a step. Step, close, hop. And now we change positions. The lady goes in front of the gentleman with the polka thing. One, two, three, step, and step. And again, our outside foot is free, ready to begin from the very beginning, because we've now we did four bars and we ex we turned once around, which is a bit hard to do it with all these little breaks. So now let's do a couple of turns: mazurka, turn half round, mazurka, turn half round, and let's do that perhaps twice. So lady starts with right, gentleman starts with left. Four, five, six. Step and hop, step, 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 step and hop, step, close and step, down, hop, step and turn, step and hop, step and turn. So that's the very basic version and you can do that turning around the room for the whole piece if you want to. So we now will do it with music. And we, uh, when we turn, we always look into the direction with a mazurka step, the direction we're going. And we're not supposed to have a stiff, stiff upper body, but we, we are supposed to lean into the direction. So, um, so we move this way and this way and so on. So let's do that and turn around a couple of times. Lady starts with right, gentleman starts with the left. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, turn, one, turn, one, turn, one, turn. just with this type of turn. There are a couple of variations you can do. Um, my main description uh, is from the German author Bernhard Klemm, whose Katechismus der Tanzkunst uh, was published in many, many, many editions uh, throughout the second half of the um, 19th century, well into the 20th century. Um, and he gives uh, one variation, not with a step, but with a hold. So, instead of a ballroom hold, we'll take a side-by-side -side hold. We take our hand in our, in, uh, into, how do we call it, in, in the, into the waist. Make sure that your elbow is not uh, going behind, but with a nice tension. The gentleman keeps his hand where it was, that is in the waist of the lady, 
And the lady keeps her hand on his shoulder, but the other hand is then free. So we again stand and turn a little bit towards each other, and we can do the same step. So the lady again starts with right, the gentleman starts with left. Four, five, six. One, two, three. And now the gentleman moves in front of the lady like he, like he did, but with that step we change our hand position. We do one, two, thumb. And now we, we have the other hands or the other connect are connecting with with the other hands and the one that used to connect us is now in our waist forward. <laughs> so from here we take the second part of the of the turn. Lady starts left, gentleman starts right, one is circus step, bum, 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 and now turn around and I change hands again. Step and cut. And so we can continue this way. We'll do a couple of them. Four, five, six. Mazoka, polka, step. Mazoka, polka, step. Mazoka, polka, step. Mazoka, polka, step. And it's easy to then continue with a modern ball, with a uh, with a normal ballroom ball, because all you've got to do is connect these hands again. So that's one variation you can do. Another one is actually some dancing masters say that the lady always, always has to uh, change when you change position. You has to change in front of the gentleman, so which means that you don't rotate, but basically the gentleman is not changing his direction at all. He, he always um, looks. Um, he always the in the line of dance, while the lady is moving. Let's not do it in one. Is moving from here to here and it's moving here from here to here. That's another possibility, which means um, the first time we're not turning to the right, we're turning to the left, so we're moving anti-clockwise. So if we do that, I'm going to do the biggest, the largest steps, while he is taking the smallest steps. I start with right, he starts with left, and I move in front of him. For with the mozaka and then this, I call it polka step, it's of course technically not exactly like a polka would look, but it is that type of step. And that's where the, where the dance takes its name from. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, mozaka, I go round, mozaka, and I go back. So we alternate between turning left and right. That's one possibility. If we don't alternate, but we start like this and then continue that direction, we get a left turn, which is also possible. So we do that again. I start right, gentleman starts the left. Four, five, six, ma, zaka. I turn right, ma, zaka. He turns right, ma, zaka. I turn around, ma, zaka. He turns round. So that's another possibility to spice this dance up. And there is another uh, variation you can do, uh, which was, I think, uh, my feeling is that it grew in popularity towards the end of the century. That is, um, you don't do one zaka one polka, one mazurka, one polka, but what you do is take three mazurka steps and then turn. So now we'll combi combine everything two and do two of each. So we have two ordinary basic steps 
turning to the right, two turns or, or four bars, uh, lady back and forth, then we'll do an ordinary sequence again, then we'll turn to the left twice, ordinary sequence again, open position, open position with three mazurka steps, closed positions with three mazurka steps. That's the plan. If I happen to say something different, <laughs> believe what I'm dancing, not what I told you now.